this is just a short video on how to use my item builder and calculator to calculate like hunter DPS and find the best hunter builds. Uh, you don't need to use any complicated spreadsheets. You can do it in a nice uh, like graphic interface and it's much easier and it's not really that complicated. So it's called the Smite Builder and Calculator Beta and it's on elitownage.com. I'll put the link in the video. But if you just Google Smite Builder and Calculator, it's just the first thing to come up. So let's do um, a build for Neath. Um, you can just search here by anything like Pantheon or um, class, name, stuff like that. Um, pretty much anything works. And you just click the god you want. Um, <clears throat> and here it brings you to the god. And it shows you all the stats here. And we're at level 1, and we want to do a build for level 20, so we'll just upgrade the level and upgrade these abilities so we can see how much damage they do. Um, right now it's showing you all the stats with no items, and here's your loadout. And uh, to add items and see how much damage they do, you just go down to these items and add them to your loadout. So let's filter by tier 3 items, and you can search here. Um, so Devourer's Gauntlet, um, you can see it increased the stats up here, and if you set the stacks, it'll increase them further, depending on the stacks. You can click an item to see what it actually does, and it gives you a little description here, just like in the game. Um, so let's just do a typical hunter build. Um, you, and just like the other god search, you can pretty much filter for anything, like attack speed, or pretty much anything. Um, okay. So this is pretty much the uh, default build that most people do right now. So we added all these items, and you can see all the stats increased and the damage increased. Um, so yeah, but what you really want to do is be able to compare it against another god. So what you can do is you can add another god here, and let's do like Athena I guess. So we added her. Um, but I don't know, I don't really know any good builds for Athena because I'm more of a hunter. So what I can actually do is, let's just remove her, and if you click on the Share Builds tab, you can actually just copy and paste this link and send it to a friend. And what I had my friend do was uh, just do like a typical Athena build and send it to me. So I'm just going to copy this link that he sent me and paste it in here. And uh, it gave me his build. So you can just share builds with each other using that link. And if I wanted to share both builds, I could do this top one. And if I just wanted to do one of these builds, I could do the other one. So we can see here on his build the items he had. And then we can see how much damage he would take against my Neath build. Um, and each ability, how much damage that would do. Um, so yeah, you can compare the DPS that way. And if I wanted to add another build, let's say I just want to add a Cupid build. I could add another Neath build too if I want. And maybe try to find a better build against Athena. Let's upgrade these abilities. Um, So I for sure want Warrior Tabby, that's something that I always get. And I want Devourer's Gauntlet because it has good lifesteal. Um, but let's say I don't really know what I want for my other items. I can use this automatic builder feature to figure out what the to figure out what would give me the best build. So like I want to build for basic attacks against Athena. And I want to do you can pick like basic attack, basic attack DPS, 
critical strike, critical stipe DPS, or you can do like five successive hits in a row. And when you do that, it'll calculate like executioner starting at zero stacks and then the next hit one stack, two stacks, three stacks. And it'll figure out, it'll go through every single possible build and figure out what build does the most damage and give you that build. Um, so we're gonna do a more complex thing. We're gonna do basic slash crit average damage DPS and we're gonna do that with five successive hits. So this can take a while um, to calculate since it's going through millions of possibilities. Um, so like a faster computer, it'll not take as much time, but like if you're doing this on a phone, it can take a minute or two. <clears throat> so we just have to wait a few seconds while this calculates out. And like I said, it's going through millions of possibilities and it's calculating five hits in a row which is why it takes so long. If you did um, just a regular one attack, it wouldn't take as long. Um, okay, so this is the build that it found, and um, this is basically like, if you just wanted to fight Athena and that's all you cared about, this is basically the best build it would do for five successive shots in a row. So you can see it'll kill Athena and um, It'll be a 17 shot kill in 8.5 seconds, and it does this much DPS, this much damage. And it, fi it figured that crits aren't the way to go against her. And this is how much it would do if it was critting, but it's only a 17 shot kill without crits, so that's pretty cool, huh? Um, and then it shows you how much your abilities, how much damage your abilities would do too. Um, so say I didn't want to build against Athena, and I wanted to build against Neath. I could remove these items. And let's say, um, oh, by the way, you can also just drag and drop items here too if you want. So let's say I wanted to um, just figure out just the single highest basic attack I can get against um, Neath. Um, I can just click fill loadout and that'll figure out the single highest basic attack damage I can do against her. Calculated through every single possible build and did that. And um, so like I had two items pre-filled there. If you don't want those two items pre-filled, you can figure it out. Um, you can click fill out, out like that too. But it'll take longer because there's more possibilities. So like if there is only, <clears throat> if there's six items item slots open, that's like millions of more possibilities than only four items that slots open because it's exponential, more combinations. So it'll take a little bit longer to calculate. Um, so yeah, you probably don't want to use this feature on like a phone because it'll take several minutes. As you can see, my computer's pretty fast and it's, it takes about a minute to calculate if you have every single slot open. Um, so I'll just wait for that to finish quick. So it found us the single, if for just a single shot, the most damage you can do. And it's quite a bit of damage, um, 439 damage in one shot. That's not critting. Um, and that's a five shot kill in 3.3 seconds at this level against beneath. Um, and it's pretty similar to the unicorn builds, you can kind of see. Not quite the same though, because it doesn't have any lifesteal. But you can, you know, customize that if you want. And it's pretty much just a tool to help you figure out what the best build for you is. And uh, as you can see, when you have a bigger screen, it'll show you this stuff. It's a little bit nicer. But um, it does also work on mobile. If you have a mobile phone, it'll work there too. So yeah, that's that. And uh, hopefully this is useful for you.